if you want you can use the visor and we're not going to use the visor at this moment we're going to show you up a different technique how you can do it instead of using a visor so it's done it's perfectly fit just take a look at there you go the housing line it press it begin to uh, lock shim begin to install the uh, rotor right. let the rotor be inside now put all the rotor fan feather there are five feathers in it When you when you when you purchase the complete repair kit, it does comes. If you don't find the repair kit, you can, can uh, find alternative and then put the power behind. Let me show you something and how how does it work. So when you rotate, uh, rotate the fan, so you will see a gap in here. So here to accommodate the more vacuum, and it will power up. And okay. this is the uh, oil suction line, and this is the the release side. So when pressure comes, it keeps rotating, and it get the uh, more dynamo and more power because it has a more gap here to uh, build up the pressure. Just put the the rear, uh, the, the rear cap or the behind cap. Seal it. There is a good gap here. Repairing kit, uh, you will experience uh, you know this sound. So this will be uh, you just ignore it because uh, as long as you have the right bearing, this uh, this is a normal sound. Once it lubricated, this will be uh, this will be fixed. So let's put some lubricate and then see. It's not uh, you know, part of the uh, uh, installation. So what we're gonna do is since we are we assembling or we are upgrading the timing chain of this. So we just thought of taking advantage to finish all this up. So install this pocket wheel and then the shim and then after the nut. This is very specific nut that comes along with the uh, 
cái công phòng